Welcome again viewers, I'm still in Lost Christianis but I'm making my way out later today. Decision time, where do you go for breakfast? I'm going to show you some really nice places for breakfast. Watch till the end and I'll tell you where I end up where I'm going for breakfast this morning. How exciting, let's go. So just around the corner from the El Mirador strip, all these bars around the corner are going to be really, really busy later on for Cheltenham, the racing. 19th hole, this used to be spectators. It's been done up really, really nice. We ran it yesterday. Um, the boys, I think, they're in there to watch the racing as well. They've got this wee bit round the side, which is new. They've got a bar in there, and they've got TVs in the wall outside. So they've done a really good job doing this place up. I've heard the breakfast is nice in here. I've not had it yet, but I've heard it's pretty nice. And uh, obviously the main entrance is up there. We're going to take a wee wander. That's a few other places I'm going to show you as well. That's the 19th hole. We've got lots of TVs in there. It's going to be busy later on today. They've got wee bookies inside if you fancy a bet. I've heard this place is nice for food. It's only open during the day, this. That's Neighbours. And then next door, we've got the Swan. My, my brother had breakfast in the Swan. Um, a wee while ago, he said it was really nice. Next door, you've got the buddies. They don't do um, food. That's a Knight's Riders bar if you watch YouTube, obviously, no, they don't open until later on, I don't think. Um, well, actually, they've got a uh, Cheltenham on uh, today. I think they open from 12 o'clock. And across the road, we've got some other choices as well. Let me just show you. I'll probably be in one of these later on uh, during the week. So the wee promotion we've done with the pints, I hope a few people enjoyed. A wee beer and Scotch mist. And this is Scotch Mist. So if you want your Scottish breakfast, a potato scone, you cannot have a breakfast without tatty scones, can you? And they also do Sunday roast here as well. Uh, you need to book the Sunday roast because they're pretty busy all the time for Sunday roast at Scotch Mist. A wee hidden gem down here. We've also got the Bull and Moon just past it. Big Davy, who worked in Buddy's Bar, I believe now works in the Bull and Moon as well. We'll pop in and see him during the week. So that's Scotch Mist over here on the right hand side. A couple of wee restaurants down here as well. Could say it's a hidden gem. There's a the building moon. Don't think probably open to about 12 o'clock. See if any of the guys are in here. I'll pop in here later on probably. Hiya! <laughs> How you doing? Okay. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you. I'll pop in during the week. Aye, uh, okay. See you later. At Scotch Mist, okay, so that's the place to go for breakfast and the Sunday roast. So we'll pop in there later on. Right, in case you're wondering, it's going to be a scorcher today. Uh, not as much wind, got the cap on to protect the head, definitely. Um, a wee hello to all the viewers I met last night. I'll tell you where I was last night. Um, I was in Taylor's, obviously. We're in Taylor's. Uh, there was a power cut in the Elmiridor strip as well, how exciting. Uh, check out Facebook, post a couple of wee videos there and we were also in the vault, really nice bar the vault uh, good band in there as well medicine men and, oh hold on it's very affordable this restaurant here, El uh, Brassero really busy at night we wander up here, we've got the Fox next door to the Buddies across there as well Italian restaurant around the corner and that's the Christian Sir apartments if you think they're staying there Quite a nice complex, much the same as across the road, Terry, sir. They don't have air conditioning in most of the apartments, so that's something to bear in mind. And I can tell you, I'm staying in an apartment just now without air conditioning. It's brutal. How you doing, alright? I just, I just done a wee video going by there saying oh. to go out for breakfast and Sunday roast at Scotch yeah, Mist. Yeah. Alright, I'll see, you, I'll see you during the week. I pop in. I will do. Okay, mate, see you later on. Bye bye. That's Gary at Run Scotch Mist. Um, here's another place for breakfast. Ye old English tea rooms, and they also do Sunday roasts in here. Pretty busy, as you can see. It's very, very busy just now. Uh, Tenerife, obviously, with Cheltenham on. Some of the bars and restaurants last night couldn't get in. Casey's was full. Uh, we'll cross over a wee second. Yeah, Casey's was full. Oh, there you go, mate. Casey's was full. Taylor's was pretty much full as well. We're in the vault. Uh, went for dinner at. Victoria. Yeah, I wasn't that impressed to be honest with the food in there. First time I've been in there. Um, Lacanda next door was fully booked till 10 o'clock, so we couldn't get in there. Hello. Oh, yeah, how you doing, mate? Hello. Not bad. Um, but yeah, sometimes it can be a hit and a miss. Just check it out yourself, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I had a steak. A lot of people say just have curries, yeah, that's 
that's a wee change. I like a wee steak as well. Uh, these bars round here, we're going to be jam packed today. Um, it's already look, pretty busy here. We've got Sandy's, the bookies, and you get a wee bit in here. Yolo Sports Bar used to be here, but they've changed. Uh, they've shut down, they've opened in Tarviscus. Check out Rick and Shelley's channel, they've got a good video showing you the, the bar in Tarviscus. They've done it up really nice actually. Uh, so that's Sandy's, Smiley's, the Buccaneer, all the bars that have been here. Hi, Hiya! All the bars have been here for years, these guys. Get ready for Cheltenham, the looks at. How you doing, alright? Oh, yes, I met you before, that's right. We watched the Liverpool game together. So, eh. Uh, Ah, oh, thanks very much. These guys, you all from Liverpool, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A mix of Liverpool and Everton fans, is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's right, okay. Oh, lovely to meet you again. I take it you're here for Cheltenham. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Have you any tips? No. Yeah, don't back them. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't back them. Is this you set up for the day here? Well, so Alright, okay. Well, I'll maybe see you about. I'm here with my brother and friends, so we're going about the bars, same as you guys. Alright, lovely to see you again. Alright, one the pool. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, oh well, ho hopefully, man you away, hopefully I read this out, we'll wait and see, aye, aye, you watch it in the mirror door strip? Okay, I might see you, alright, cheers, lovely to meet you guys again, thanks. Okay, it's that Smiley's, Irish bar changed name, um, last kind of year, Frank Rooney's, I met, ah sorry, there you go. Uh, fish and chip shop, at, at the end here I felt really nice as well, Tides, you've seen me do a few videos speaking to the guys who own Tides, um, yellow bar as well, so a lot of really good bars here. Okay, we'll be here later on in the week, no doubt. Hi, how you doing? Alright, not bad, yourself? Yeah, Not bad, good. not bad. Be, uh, thing again? Yeah, just doing a wee video, just showing the bars here. You're going to be busy, you're going to be busy today, aren't you? Hopefully. Uh, what's your name, mate? Uh, Andy, Smiley's Bar, I'm not enough. Andy, okay. Yeah, yeah. Lovely to meet you, I'm Kevin. Uh, Kevin, I've seen you going about Kevin. Alright, nice also one. I do food here as well, you do, you do food as well? Yeah, yeah, snacks okay. and that. Snacks, alright, Andy, lovely to meet you. I'll see you again. Cheers, mate. Okay, right. Let's head back down this way. Right. Have you worked out where I'm going for breakfast yet? Boys are already on their way. They're probably actually going to be there ahead of me. I was planning to be there ahead of them, but uh, I think they've probably took a wee shortcut around the back end and they're probably there. They might see them at the end. Tenerife, sir. Uh, they've got a restaurant in there, do paella and stuff like that as well. You can get breakfast when you stay there as well. If you book it, I had breakfast in there before, it's a very limited choice, but it does a job. But live music on tonight as well. We're heading down to the bus station here. I'll show you where the bus is if you want to get the bus to anywhere in Tenerife. Okay, so we shout out to all the guys from Liverpool just met there. I actually watched the Liverpool game with them uh, last time I was here. See, these are the these are rooms down the bottom, the terrace, so they're on a kind of busy main road, so you, I think you're better with rooms overlooking the pool and stuff like that. Just my own opinion. I'm going to pass another good place for breakfast in a wee sec as well. Just on the right hand side, coming up to it is Harriet's. Which I know is a lot of people's favourites as well. There's a wee bakery next to it as well. There's Harriet's over there, they're open for uh, evening meals now as well. They used to just do uh, breakfast and lunch, but now they're open all day long. Um, really nice Harriet's as well. Check that out. Next to the San Marino Apartments, I've met lots of viewers are staying there as well. Just at the back of the Apollo Centre. So you can see the advertising evening restaurant. Harriet's, and they're very, very busy in Harriet's. Nice place, nice food. Um, okay, let's continue. Take a wee right here to the bus station. Indians across there. I've not actually been in, check out the Matt Masters channel, he's got a review in there. Um, it's quite highly rated. One of the ones I've not been in yet. Kismati, I think it's called. Okay, have you guessed where we're going yet? So I forgot to tell you where else we were. Um, we're in the vault. Then we went round to the attic bar, but that was just closing. So then we had a wee drink in Highland Paddy that had a really good singer on, Rebecca Bond. I recommend Rebecca. And uh, then they had some karaoke on. Right, we're at the bus station. So at this point, you can go left 
all the way down there towards the promenade in the beach it's not too far or we can go right and we'll continue along this way now remember if you're getting the bus anywhere that's going to be over 10 euros like Porto de la Cruz you want to get a day ticket get a bus card get a day ticket it's going to save you money rather than paying individually the bus ticket uh, we booth is up here on the right hand side it's always got a queue at it we'll see if it's got a queue today this is where you get a bus you get a bus to Adeke Las Americas um, Santa Cruz Porto de la Cruz really anywhere on the island round about here is the main bus station yeah always a queue I told you you can top up your card there, there's always a queue there. And the bus for Porto de la Cruz is not on this main bit, it's round the corner to the right. So don't wait here for the Porto de la Cruz one, it's round the corner, I think it comes three or four times a day. Right, we're going to take a wee right here. Okay, surely you must know where we're going now place that's always been featured on the channel and the last time I was here I didn't have time to do a wee video so I felt bad about that so we're going back there this morning so there's some really good places I've showed you there for options for breakfast even the evening meals and watching the racing right let's go into the Apollo Centre a little hidden gem that only the locals know about if you're here on holiday and you never really come up this end of the bus station You'll miss these wee bars and restaurants at the back. They've actually got some really nice restaurants at the back. At night they get a lot busier. Most of them are not open during the day. Um, there's a few restaurants I've recommended down here, but I've never really been here at night. Mostly during the day I've done videos here. So we've got Leo's Cafe. It's pretty popular here as well. We're heading all the way down here. I think the boys have already been. The Victory Bar, that'll be really busy I think later on for Cheltenham, it's probably just opening very shortly. And here we've got La Therese, see the boys are already seated there. <laughs> Hello there. Hi Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, I don't follow you. Um, okay, so we're at La Therese. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hello, you Look at that, the beers are coming out, beers are coming out. Perfect timing. Here's Jan. How are you doing? Okay, so ended well viewers, we are here, here for breakfast at La Therese. Okay, nice to see you again Christian and Martina. Today's breakfast, there we go. It's a really nice place for food, we do wine, we do tapas. Great selection in there as well. I'll come round in a minute, okay? Thank you, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, bye-bye. There's pistachio for a wee coffee and brunch as well, really nice place inside here as well I think they've got one in a decade, pistachio I'll show you the places around the back here none of these places I don't think will be open just now Aberdeen fans, watch till the end I'll show you a bar as well, oh look I've still never been here when the Merry Monks open it only opens really at night they've got Rod Stewart on tonight the Rod Stewart experience with Jed Bolton I've seen that quite a few times, a good entertainer that's the Merry Monk I will come here one night when it's open Little India next to it as well so these places don't really open until um, later on at night but I'll show you around the side anyway it's absolutely boiling round here boiling, oh three course menu 10.85 so some really good affordable deals in these restaurants a wee place here getting done up the looks of it there is a place around the front that's changed here I noticed it when we were buying the bus was it the bus? It was a taxi, it was a taxi. Yeah, we've got a taxi actually. Right. That's Karma on the left hand side. This is effectively where you get the bus to Porto de la Cruz. I don't know if I'm going to make Porto de la Cruz in this trip. I've heard this restaurant's really good, it only opens at night. Um, Shorthorn, specialised in steaks. Heard it's really, really nice. Heard this place is nice as well. Kikariki, I think it's called. Aberdeen fans, we've got ZZ's bar on the left hand side and this place is new, it's changed name we've now got a street burger place they've done it up really nice inside so that's a new place here in the Paul Centre if you're into your burgers that looks like a place to go, it's very affordable as well 
So there we go, it was quite nice eh? And then Aberdeen fans, Zizi's they also do a wee quiz in here um, as well. So I think it's at five o'clock yesterday it was on, so it was a Monday. And again, three course special, nine euros ninety-five, very, very affordable. It's at El Tijar too. Um, a lot of people tell me it's really good in here, good value for money. There's a few other places up the top as well, see hairdressers and a few other places as well. And we've got this place here, which is delicious. See what I've done there? A wee deli place, oh look, a wee muscle fitness place there as well. What a variety. Healthy eats and naughty treats. There we go. There we go. Okay, so a really good selection there for breakfast and um, decision time. But we're going to have breakfast in La Therese. The boys have already ordered beers a wee bit early for beers for me. Um, and they've, they've got themselves set up for Cheltenham. I'll be walking about later on. Round about Las Americas probably. I don't know if I'll make a decky. So I'll maybe catch up with some people there. I've met loads of viewers last night um, in, in the bars. So it's been great to meet everybody. Thanks for all the support. Oh, and also forgot to say, channel just hit 60,000 subscribers which is absolutely amazing just thank you so much for all the support it's absolutely free to subscribe just hit the wee button there if you're on your TV hit the wee links down there on the left hand side can't do it without uh, viewers watching so I really really appreciate it um, and I'll try my best and get some more Tenerife videos done for you during the week there won't be as many as normal I've done two videos yesterday two videos uh, today We'll try and get a lot more done. Okay, thanks for watching. Time for breakfast. I'll see you in the next one.